Hello, and welcome to my video essay about the colonization of Japan and how it has impacted both American and Japanese culture. This story begins in the year 1858 when Matthew Perry appeared in Tokyo Bay with four U.S. destroyers demanding that Japan open up its borders to the world. Before this incident, Japan had been closed off for 200 years due to a humiliating defeat by Korea. During this time, Japan had missed many of the technological advancements of the world, making Japan a weak nation on the world's scale. After many American goods were exchanged to the Emperor, Matthew Perry would declare that if Japan did not open up in one year, he would have to invade, claiming the land for America. So by his return in 1854, Japan would reluctantly agree to the terms leading to Japan opening up to the world. However, this did not sit well with the new Emperor, Emperor Meiji. Quickly known as both the traditional emperor and the final emperor, he sought to rid any modern influence out of Japan. As one haiku put it, A new year passes, a new emperor rises, and old lore reforms. Two years after Meiji's rise to power in 1870, Japan would resend trade protection rights given to the U.S., effectively reclosing the nation to the world. This was followed by a series of reforms known as the Meiji Reformation, which saw the reconstruction of Japanese social order. Many of these new laws would heavily favor the tradition of the samurai. The final result of the Meiji Reformation would be the overthrow of the shogun rule, leading to a Japan led by the emperor backed by the samurai class. During the Meiji Reformation, the U.S. would be unable to strike back at Japan, as it was in the midst of reconstruction and had faced the problem of not having a forward operating base to start the invasion of Japan. This would change, however, when the U.S. would annex the Philippines, and once the U.S. government had dealt with the Filipino insurrection, they would order General MacArthur to lead the invasion of Japan. This invasion would take place from 1899 and last until 1900. The invasion of Japan was one of ease for the U.S. as American bolt action met Japanese samurai's katanas. By the end of the American conquest of Japan, the U.S. would have full control of all the home islands except Hokkaido. This was due to the emperor retreating with loyal samurais to Hokkaido after being labeled as an enemy of the state. There was a successful invasion of Japan. MacArthur would be put as Japan's first governor. Under MacArthur's rule, Japan would see an economic miracle within its first 12 years, becoming a world economic power. With this new American rule, Japanese culture would start to shift as religion, sports, food, and media would all change as American culture started to collide with Japanese culture under the new nation of American Japan. The first of many areas to change for Japan was the religious makeup of the nation. Before American intervention, state Shintoism was the primary religion, with Buddhism playing as a key aspect for many in daily life. This would suddenly change as MacArthur would outlaw state Shintoism as he viewed the emperor's influence over the religion as a national security threat to the new state of Japan. With the national religion move, Christianity would try to fill the void. Unlike previous attempts to spread Christianity, there would be no major opposition force. To the, due to this, Catholic, Baptist, Methodist, and Mormon missionaries would see great success in converting many. In southern Japan, Roman Catholics would take a hold as it had a small presence due to Portuguese trade many centuries ago. This was also helped with the influx of Italian and I Irish immigrants. While the rest of Japan would be a made up of a mix of Protestant religions, while Mormonism took a stronghold in Sendai. In face of the Catholic takeover, Buddhism would stand strong. Notably, Buddhism would start to fuse with Catholicism in southern Japan. This was due to Roman Catholics wanting to appear more Japanese, in order not to repeat the same mistakes as the Portuguese had done when they tried to spread the religion. Therefore, the local bishops would permit for Buddhist doctrine to be part of the Japanese Christianity. This would result in the religious makeup of Japan being 60% Christian with a 45% Protestant and 15% Catholic split, while 20% of the population would put Buddhism as their primary religion, while only 2% would put Mormonism as their preferred religion, while 18% would report no religion. Another area that would change would be sports, as sports would see a rise in Japan as many Americans would start playing baseball in their spare time. 
This would see the creation of the first American baseball team in Japan named the Osaka Pioneers. As many more Americans te American teams popped up, there would be an equal number of Japanese teams. Eventually, in 1924, the All-Japanese League would combine with the American MLB. This would see major outcry back in the States, but when the Yamuri Giants beat the Washington Senators in the World Series, many Americans would start to view the Japanese in a better light, as the Japanese had proven themselves in the realm of baseball. Due to Japan's close win in the 1928 World Series, many white Americans would also start to demand African Americans to also play in American teams, as they would now have a larger skill pool to pick from to beat the Japanese in the next World Series. Therefore, in 1929, the MLB would drop any racial barrier to joining a baseball team. This had the knock-on effect of also giving many African Americans better treatment, as racial prejudice was dropped in order to beat the Japanese at baseball. Baseball was given as one of the primary reasons why the Civil Reform Bill of 1945 passed alongside, passed alongside with the contribution of African Americans during the Sino-American War. In the realm of media, Japan would take over, as actors like John Wayne would star in many famous samurai movies, which was the cultural zeitgeist of America during the late 50s. While in Japan, the American Western would take the Japanese by storm. In the animated world, people like Walt Disney would dominate. However, the majority of Walt Disney's animators would be of Japanese descent. This is because when Walt Disney started up the Disney Company, he had sent a request to any and all people under the American flag, including the Japanese, f to fill his new vacant animator positions. Due to this, over the half the, half the positions at Walt Disney Company would be filled by Japanese nationals. Even today in modern day Los Angeles, many Japanese animators that work there, as it is the heartland of any and all animation in the West. There even have been many startup studios led by Japanese, like the breakaway studio Yemi Studio, which broke, which broke away from Disney back in 1994. The fridges of both Japanese and Americans would also start to combine with many celebrities like Charlie Chaplin visiting Japan and championing the Japanese diet to Americans. Many Americans would start to adopt Japanese food, food staples like rice, soba, and tempura in daily meals. At a point in time, you, could, you would be hard-pressed not to find an American school lunch that did not have a serving of rice with every meal. While in Japan, many Japanese would start to implement American food staples like Spam, beef, and potatoes, with many coming home from a hard day of work to a meal of roast beef on top of noodles with a Coke to drink. Many Americans would also start to immigrate to bustling port cities like Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Due to the booming business in southern Japan, the region would quickly become the industrial heartland. This paired with the American urban planning around the car would see many cities rebuilt under a grid plan. Before the end of American rule, the most populous and influential cities would be in order Hiroshima, Kyoto, and Edo in a close third place. Not all Japanese citizens would meet this time of fusion with appraisal, as they thought Japan should be independent. The sentiment was rising around the same time as many people in the Philippines were calling for independence. Therefore, the U.S. would guarantee both the Philippines and Japan that America would start to decolonize. Just before the process was about to begin, the Sino-American War broke out when communist forces surprise attacked Hong Kong. For six years, the U.S., American, Japan, and Britain would fight the Chinese forces until the Chinese surrendered at, with the Treaty of Macau. With the fighting over, the U.S. would move back to decolonization. The U.S. would gr grant the Philippines full independence in 1948. However, for Japan, America would hold a regional vote. This would help decide which regions of Japan wanted to stay and which regions of Japan wanted to leave American control. When the results came back, only three regions wanted to stay. Kyushu, Sh Shoku, and Southern Honshu. The U.S. would still hold on to Okinawa as it was fully integrated into the United States by that point, acting as a key naval base in the Pacific. Therefore, on July 4th, 1950, the United States of Japan was born, with the capital in Edo. This would not mean the end of the Japanese and American relationship, as there still is the MLB League connecting both nations, and even in 2015, the Japanese-American presidential candidate would, from Hiroshima would beat Hillary Clinton. This has allowed United States and 
the United States and Japan to continue working together closely. There, however, are still traditionalists which seek to remove any American influence out of Japan. These, many of these people identify with the JMA, the Japanese Monarchist Army, which stages many conflicts with the goal of bringing Emperor Naruhito in control of the Japanese state. To a shared historical background, both the United States and Japan have seen a cultural fusion from the 20th century to the early 21st century. There, however, is the concern, was this cultural fusion forced by the Americans as they were the ones to colonize Japan, making it an equal exchange of cultures? However, that is not my question to answer today, as I have given you the story of both the American and Japanese cultures throughout the 20th and 21st century. That is for you to decide in the comment section below. See you guys next time.